Shout out to G-Man Boxing. Where's the piss bottle? It's over there. At the time of recording this, it's about 11 o'clock at night on a Sunday. So we're roughly 24 hours removed from Anthony Joshua versus Alexander Usyk. What a fight. Um, you know, I, I talked about it already, but it was a brilliant fight. You know, I enjoyed it thoroughly. It was, it was actually, it was brilliant to watch. This is not what I, I enjoyed every minute. I was at the edge of my seat kind of thing. Even though there was no knockdowns, it was edge of your seat kind of a fight. But AJ has said in, in you know, the aftermath that he is going to invoke the rematch clause. Now, me personally, I don't think he should. And I wonder will he, I wonder was that spur of the moment? Because, you know, it, it was very similar in the Andy Ruiz uh, loss where and immediately after it was like straight into a rematch you know straight into a rematch just never mind it uh, straight into a rematch and you know again that time i kind of thought i wouldn't i would just reassess and try and improve on certain things but having said that when he announced you know the rematch was going to go ahead i picked them you know, I picked Anthony Joshua instantly. You know, you can go back and watch some of the old videos I have. Off that time, I was always saying, AJ will win that rematch. Because with the Ruiz fight, whilst it was a bad loss, you know, and it was, AJ knew where he went wrong. He knew he could outbox Ruiz. He knew where his strengths were. All right? He knew he made mistakes. All right? Now, when he was able to go into the rematch and fix those mistakes, and he probably studied a bit of what Joseph Parker did against Andy Ruiz, he was able to go in, have success, and win. All right, that's good. That's fine. Didn't change his team. That's fine. Against Alexander Usyk, this wasn't a case of getting greedy and getting caught with a good shot and not recovering. This wasn't like that. This was AJ, from start to finish, really being outmatched. You know, Derek Chisora had more success, different style, more success against Alexander Usyk than Anthony Joshua did. Usyk definitely early on against Chisora looked more uncomfy than he did against it. He never really looked uncomfy in there against Anthony Joshua. I don't think Anthony Joshua should take this rematch because I don't see a way he can win this fight. Or he can win the rematch, I should say. With Andy Ruiz, it was different. I could look at it and think, you know what? If he keeps it at range, if he moves around the ring... Andy Ruiz can't really cut the ring off too well. He's not got the quickest feet. He should be able to win that fight on points. He should be. With this, I was watching it again this morning and I was looking at it and I was just thinking, how does he win the rematch? Like, what does he... Unless Usyk just completely has a lapse of concentration and just decides, I want to get knocked out and walk into something, I was like, how is he... Like, what, what can he do different? Because he was... He fought like a fighter who didn't have confidence in, I don't want to say his ability, but in his, how do I put it, he looked nervous, I guess would be the best way to describe it, in a sense of whenever Usyk was fainting, AJ was biting on the feints, and that's what Usyk would keep doing, and that would drain you mentally, I said this before, people were having a go at me, saying, oh, feints will make it, yeah, they will, because you'll keep thinking, and you're thinking, and you're using nervous energy, you're burning nervous energy then. So, that will still happen. If AJ puts it on Alexander Usyk, two things. Usyk is the natural, Usyk is a counter puncher. So Usyk would be thinking, okay, grand, I've got a target coming at me. I don't have to go looking for him. And second of all, AJ, how long can he keep up you know, a work rate? So if he's trying you know, really put it on Usyk and take it to him, if he can't get Usyk out of there and he burns a lot of energy, what happens then? You know, and you know, people say now AJ's too light. Well, before it was too heavy, now he's too light. What is it? I think he's better off coming in at this weight than he would be, you know, to pack on weight and decide, you know, I need to be 250 again because that's not going to help him. I don't believe winning a rematch. I think what AJ needs to do to give himself the best chance, or if he fully intends on taking this rematch, would be to change his team up. He change his team up. If he can get an interim fight, take it against the mover maybe like a brian jennings or someone like that just to kind of get that kind i know brian jennings is nothing like alexander Usyk in terms of you know he's nowhere near as good but he will move he will he can be awkward he can be fiddly so maybe someone like that you know if he can get that fight but in terms of his team rob mccracken gotta go i've been saying this for 
two years more gotta go i think aj maybe the sentimental value of being in there with rob mccracken you know the the fact that this guy brought him through the olympics stuff like that that's all well and good but i don't think aj is improved on the rob mccracken i don't see it i don't see a major leap in aj under rob mccracken in terms of you know this is where he was five years ago under Rob McCracken, this is where he is now. I kind of see it like like that. Like, this is where he was then, this is where he is now. It's just kind of stagnated. So, when I look at AJ, I just think, if you could get a coach, if you want to stay in the UK, Shane McGuigan, be an excellent fit. Look what he's done to your to your mate, your stable mate, Lawrence O'Coley. Look what he's done with him. He's done fantastic work with him. You know, Shane McGuigan's an excellent coach. If you're looking abroad, there's plenty of different names. The name that comes to mind for me is Ronnie Shields. You know, Ronnie Shields is an excellent trainer. He's trained heavyweights. You want a trainer who has experience with heavyweights as well. You don't want to just take a trainer. You know, I saw a few people say, you know, Dominic England, stuff like that. Like, mm, mm, yeah, he's not really got much experience with heavyweights now, to be fair. Um, obviously, Peter Fury is a name that springs to mind, but I just don't see that happening. I, I've always, Peter Fury does kind of come across like he'd like to, but I don't think he would. I think he would. I think if he wants to ever salvage a relationship with Tyson and Tyson's side, he just wouldn't do it. <sighs> AJ Usyk 2. I can't see how he wins that rematch. I personally don't think he should. And I'm wondering what Eddie Hearn is thinking. Is Eddie Hearn thinking, do I want to put him in Usyk with the uh, rematch with Usyk? Or, because... I've seen, if you are, I think boxing scene reported that AJ said, you know, he'd be willing to fight Fury or Wilder, you know, if he's no belt, if they have a belt. Would Eddie Hearn look at that, especially if Fury wins? So I remember saying this to Hatman the other night when we did a live together uh, on Thursday night that if Usyk wins convincingly to the point where AJ is like, there's no, there's no way I can say, you know, oh, I got caught with a good shot right now. If it's just Usyk just all the way, would they think, you know, we don't need that? Because it, it, what can we do differently? Will we just go and see if we can get the Fury fight? Because it's a still, it's a, it's massive. That was still Phil Wembley. Easily Phil Wembley. You win, you get a WBC title, undisputed potentially with Usyk or a Fury rematch. Big paydays. If you lose, you're a two-time unified heavyweight champion of the world. And you've made an absolute rake of cash. I wouldn't be shocked, excuse me, I wouldn't be shocked if that's what they do. But if AJ is is keen on going down the road of rematch new sec, changes need to be changes need to happen. That, there's no two ways about it. Things in that team need to change. He needs to get rid of Rob McCracken. He needs to. I know some people would say, gee, you know, he, he's close with McCracken, you know, his setup is what he likes, familiarity, familiarity breeds content. It does. In boxing, you need to make the best of your skills. And I think AJ needs a trainer who can bring out the best of his skills in him. And I think a Ronnie Shields, a Shane McGuigan, Ishmael Salah, someone like that, they do excellent work with Anthony Joshua. Excellent work. I think that's maybe what needs to happen. I think AJ needs to change it up a bit. It's, um, I wonder what Eddie Hearn is thinking now that he signed that contract. That career-long contract. I wonder what Eddie Hearn is thinking in his head. But if AJ goes through with that Usyk rematch, I ain't picking him. This is not like the Andy Ruiz situation. This is a lot more straightforward, this loss, where you can say, like, Usyk was just the better man. Just stylistically could be... People said that about Ruiz, and it's like, yeah, look, you don't want to engage with someone who is, you know, a good front foot counterpuncher has quicker hands than you, but... There's a way to not engage. Just don't engage with him. Just keep him at arm's length. You have the longer reach. You're the better long range boxer. With Usek, it's just like, what do you do? You know, honestly, what do you like? I watched that this morning again, and it's different when you're watching the co light today. You're just looking at it. You're just thinking, what does he do differently? Like, what can he do to win this rematch? And one thing I did say is he didn't, you know, throw a lot of uppercuts, which would have, you know, been beneficial from the orthodox stance against a southpaw. But I just think, what does he do differently? And if he puts it on Usek, just giving Usyk opportunities, you know, Usyk's seen it all, you know, it was just, it's, it's going to be interesting to see what he does moving forward, I enjoyed that fight so much, 
And, you know, people, I've done a live stream last, and people are saying, you're an AJ hater. How is that me being an AJ hater? I've always big days you up when he deserves it. And when I've, when I've needed to criticise him, I criticise him. People struggle to differentiate between the two. You can't praise someone one minute and criticise him the next year. Hey, that's not, it's giving constructive criticism. But people interpret that as hate nowadays, which is bizarre. But, you know, it's the way of the world. I'm going to leave that there. I want to know what people's thoughts are, it, people's thoughts are in the comments section. You like me thinking Asia needs to leave Rob McCracken. Maybe he needs to look in a different direction. Maybe let Usyk just have this one and go in a different direction. Do you think that's what he should do? Let me know the com let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, if you could smash the old like button, subscribe if you haven't already, hit the notification bell for now, lads and lassies. I'll talk to you. Peace.